Genesis chapter 25, Twin Brothers. For many years, Rebekah was unable to have children, but Isaac prayed for her. And God answered his prayer, and Rebekah became pregnant with twins. Two boys inside her struggled so much. She felt that she was dying and she cried out to God. He spoke to her and said, There are two nations in your womb. Two rival tribes will descend from your sons. One people will be stronger than the other, and the elder child will serve the younger. At last, the babies were safely born. The first to arrive was Esau. Jacob followed, grabbing his brother's heel. The two brothers had entered into the world. They were completely different in character. Esau was a man of action, a strong and a skillful hunter who loved the open fields. While Jacob was much quieter and thoughtful. He liked to stay at home, happy to be with Rebekah and the servants. Their father, Isaac, loved Esau best. He was proud of his son's hunting ability, and he had a taste for wild game. And he found his younger son hard to understand. It was Rebekah who loved Jacob. One day, Jacob was cooking some thick soup when Esau came running in from the fields. He had been away for many days and he was desperately hungry. Quick, he shouted. Give me some of that soup. Wait, said Jacob, holding up the spoon, which was dripping with broth. What will you give me? Esau was impatient with his brother's joking. Just give me something to eat. Well, how about your birthright? Said Jacob. Will you give me that for some soup? As the elder son, Esau would one day receive his father's special blessing and inherit the greatest part of his wealth. Jacob was playing a dangerous game but Esau was so famished, he hardly knew or cared what he was doing. Look, he said, can't you see I'm dying of hunger? What use is my birthright to me? So Jacob stepped forward, blocking the pot of soup and said, uh-uh, give me your word. Swear to me that you will give me your birthright. Esau hastily swore the oath. He pushed his brother aside and devoured the soup. He finished it all. He ate some bread and drank his fill, and then he got up, satisfied, and walked away. That is how little Esau cared about his birthright. Mm -hmm.